Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your December reading. I do apologize for the delay in the reading. I am like all of you. I've been running around trying to take care of everything year end, holiday, etc. So I do apologize for the delay. Now these energies are going to run through the entire month of December so you can reflect back at the beginning of the month and see how it applies for your life and of course going forward. Now please check out your moon and rising sign. Um, they may resonate better with you than your actual sun sign does if you haven't already checked it out. What I like to do is check all three and then I'm able to pull from it what is actually applicable in my life and it gives me a really good idea of what is going to take place in my life uh, throughout that time frame. So what we have is the Queen of Wands and this is for the sun, moon, and rising sign, if I didn't say that. Um, we have the Queen of Wands, the Knight of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so what I'm hearing is, um, this is actually lovely, because this has you in here. The Queen of Wands is representing you. Very pat, male or female, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, it's a general reading. So very passionate individual, very intelligent, but yet they are so good with um, communicating with other people. They really are a magnet for others. Very high energy. If something needs to be done, this is the person that's going to do it. That would be you. Now we have the Knight of Cups here and the Ten of Pentacles. And what I'm hearing is there is a group of you that are in an environment where you work, you could actually own your own business and you're doing exceedingly well. You are creating a solid foundation, not only for the business itself, but for your personal life as well. And you have somebody coming in that wants to give you an offer. Now, what I'm seeing for this group of you, they actually want to partner with you. They want you to walk away from this particular operation that you have put your heart and soul into, and they want you to come forward with them because they believe that they have a combination of what you are currently doing and what they want to do. They want to incorporate the two together and they believe that it's going to really evolve into something massively huge and international. <clears throat> so for some of you, you are going to consider walking away from what you're doing. You may sell the business, you may keep the business that you are currently running open and actually uh, start a new business, start a second business, bring in people to take over where you're leaving off. And you may be balancing between the two organizations for a while, while you're setting up the new international company, while you're waiting to uh, either sell or bring in the other people to take over. Now, it's really important that you speak your truth through this whole process and very important that you look at the documents, okay? If you choose to go forward with this person, with this offer, and it is going to be emotionally satisfying for you, you're really gonna love it. You're gonna get to do your passion, you're going to be emotionally satisfied, and it is going to bring you financial abundance. So it is a really wonderful opportunity for you to, to really, really check out. But make sure that you are looking for every T to be crossed and every I to be dotted in the legal documentation. We are in Mercury in retrograde. We can uh, have all kinds of errors in the paperwork. If you can postpone signing any documentation until, oh, I'd say after the 8th of January, in that time frame, it will be so much better for you uh, as far as knowing that it's going to have a more a stable long-term longevity. Um, this is a really wonderful opportunity for you. Now, for those of you regarding love, your partner 
and you, what I'm hearing, you have not been on the same page. This is for those of you who are actually in a partnership, you're living together, you're married, but it is a real partnership. You have not been on the same page. And you're both, both of you are doing quite well. You have this, this created a life that you both really enjoy, but for some reason it's like a hit and miss. Could be Mercury in retrograde, of course, some of you are actually contemplating on leaving and if it's not you it may be your partner it's important for you to stand up and speak your truth to your partner it's also equally important when your partner speaks to you that you really listen so that the clarity between the two of you um, is communicated because communication is going to take place now for many of you in this group, it is actually going to take your relationship to a brand new level. What I mean by that is your partner may say, you know, we have this wonderful life and I really am ready to move forward. For others of you, you, your partner or you may be walking away from the situation. Even though you have built a world that you love, together you're not on the same page and you feel that you need to be with somebody who is actually on the same page as you the world is here and this is not a bad thing this is a, a it can be very very good thing for you none of us want to be in a relationship that is not satisfying to both people because in the ultimate in the end the other person who is satisfied is going to wind up no longer satisfied. So before you or your partner take off, make sure that you try to have that communication um, so that you can clear the air and see if there's any way that you can resolve the issues that are, are taking place. Yep. Now, for those of you that are dealing with a partner, and, and this may be a soulmate that you're dealing with, you are at a distance. They may live in a different state, a different country. You haven't heard from them for quite some time, maybe about eight, seven or eight months. They are actually going to contact you. And it's very, very important. They want to contact you because they want to offer you true love. Okay, this is the Knight of Cups. They're going to come in pretty quick. This is communication that you weren't expecting. They may offer to either come to see you or you come to see them. Yeah. And it is important. They, they were attached emotionally to somebody else. You may be aware of it and some of you may not be aware of it. They have chosen to walk away from that other emotional attachment that other person and this group of you i'm seeing that it was another soulmate that they were dealing with that the relationship had come to an end the lessons have been learned between those two so now they're free to move forward and they are coming in with this offer for some of you they're going to apologize others they may not actually say the words i'm sorry but they will present a new offer. And, the, and, and you know, the world is about successfully completing a cycle in your life. And this is a clarification card. So as they walk away, they have completed a, a cycle of their life. And them coming back to you is completing another, you know, it's fully completing that cycle. Very important you speak your truth. They want to offer you this new opportunity, um, uh, this new partnership with them. And actually, it's very nice. It's going to throw you out of balance a little bit because you are not expecting it. Again, you haven't heard from them, seen them, talked to them for about seven, eight months, and they're coming back. So it's going to throw you out of balance, and it's important that you stay in balance. Yeah. You're the Nine of Pentacles. We love the Nine of Pentacles. You've been through your stuff. You've completed 
the cycle in your world and you're starting a brand new cycle. They have just completed theirs. You've been waiting a long time. They recognize who you are. They know you are their true love, their real life partner, and they're coming in to offer you a brand new beginning. Long term, it's not about sex. Okay, this isn't about sex. They may not even want sex when they see you. This is about a real offer for a long-term relationship. So I do hope this helps you and I wish you all the best. Much love.